so that repulsion further degrades the stability of enol form and keto is again much more stable than enol form that's two reason one important thermodynamic reason that we can give for the most stability of keto is and that you have to understand very well here we have two single bonds around C double bond O if I draw this again this carbon is having three hydrogen and this is a single bond this is a tetrahedral structure now there will be free bond rotation across this single bond and this methyl group will be free to rotate like this from both the sides so there will be more movement there will be more disorder there will be more entropy and if we have under if you have studied thermodynamics very well uh, I mean not very well even not very well if you have studied thermodynamics you know what entropy is and entropy is one of the factor that provides uh, stability in the system and if you have more of entropy if we have more of disorder then the delta G for the reaction is more and that reaction is more spontaneous if entropy is decreasing in any kind of process then that decrement in entropy opposes the change from once going from one system to another if suppose in system A we have lots of entropy entropy is very high in system B entropy is very less so naturally spontaneous reaction will be from system B to system A where there will be increment in entropy and the spontaneity from system A to system B will be lesser because there will be decrement in entropy now here we have single bonds and here we have more movement on both sides of the C double bond O when you switch over to enol form you don't have any more that single bond this is a double bond and the rotation across this double bond is restricted so you have a entrop you have movement of this methyl but this the CS2 group is no more rotating as the CS3 group was rotating in keto form so there is a decrement in entropy when we go from keto to enol so the spontaneity for this conversion on going from keto to enol would be very less in any system rather from enol to keto will be supported by a the change in entropy so again this reason adds to the low content of enol in any system so because of these three reasons the the percentage of keto in any equilibrium like this, this is very high and maybe to your amazement this percentage is greater than 99 percent and this enol is only less than one percent this you have to bear in mind this you have to engrave deep into your skull that keto is highly highly stable whenever there's a scope of formation of keto you'll always quickly tautomerize the enol form to give you the final product as keto form because enol is less than one percent now why this is important is in lots of reaction that we are going to study from here the final product will be formed in enolic form like we have beta keto decarboxylation one of the reaction is beta keto decarboxylation where you get a product like this suppose you have this the final product will appear when you when you write the mechanism which we'll learn eventually when you write the mechanism the final product will appear to be this now this you have to identify at the very first sight that this is a enol and you have to know this data that enol is less than one percent when there's a enol there will be a dynamic equilibrium between keto and enol so what you will do is you will quickly tautomerize this and you'll get the keto form and you will report the final product to be acetone and not this enol even though while drawing the mechanism you will end up in, in this so this knowledge is very important this keto enol tautomerism is going to appear over and over again in many of the reactions that we are going to see from here so you have to know this thing you have to know how keto is converted to enol how enol is converted to keto of which we have seen the mechanism and you have to know that keto is very very stable so whenever you have a enol formation that enol will be get that enol will get converted to keto form spontaneously very fast so that's one thing that you have to understand
Now the next we are moving ahead. Now we are moving ahead to identify compounds where keto will be dominant and compounds where enol will be dominant. Now let's see. Suppose I have cyclohexanone and I have acetone. And someone asks me to compare the enolic content of these two compounds, I mean cyclohexanone will have more percentage of enol or ketone will have more percentage of enol. Now to have a good practice of make drawing or of having enol form from keto or converting keto to enol you must do practice. If you don't do practice by your hand you are not going to learn it. So the first thing that you must do is you draw the enol of uh, acetone, you draw the enol of cyclohexanone and then we'll try to compare the stability based upon the three factors that we have seen before. Now to draw the enolic form the first step is base will come and abstract H plus from alpha position of C double bond O. That's the first thing that's going to happen. If you add base into it, if you add OH minus, this OH minus is not potent enough to go and attack on C double bond O because this is quite stable. Now what it will do is it will abstract one of the hydrogen from the alpha position why from alpha position? Because when you abstract hydrogen you will end with a negative charge on carbon and that negative charge on carbon can do resonance only from alpha position. If you have negative charge at this position then this cannot do resonance with C double bond O because it is at beta position. This is in isolation with C double bond O. There is a sp3 hybridized carbon present here. So it always happens from alpha position. That's step number one. Okay. Next charge will do resonance and will go to the most stable position. In this case the most stable position will be oxygen. So that step number two is resonance. Step number three is when this OH minus abstracted hydrogen from here it formed H2O and this H2O will come back to return the hydrogen that it took in the first step. So this hydrogen will go to oxygen and form in all. This is how it will happen. You have to practice. By God, you have to practice. You will not be able to do it un unless you practice it by your hands. So, you don't have to just watch. You have to do it side by side. From this keto, we have this enol. So, that's done. So, I have this enolic form. And we have already drawn the enolic form of acetone. So, here we have two enol. And someone asked me to compare the... Uh, percentage of enolic content in both the equilibrium. So the first thing is Q2 has been destroyed in both the compounds. The next thing is there is repulsion between the electron of oxygen and this electronic cloud density here in both the cases. So these two factors are same. The third factor that we saw was of entropy. Now if you move on from here to here there is a decrement in entropy because there is a double bond, there is a single bond at this position and you have a double bond at this position. So the movement which this methyl was having, this methyl was freely rotating across this single bond where in enolic form there is no free rotation because of double bond. So there was entropy here and there is a lot of decrement in the entropy. So there is a decrement of entropy from, from, from keto to enol and that decrement of entropy will decrease the delta G for the conversion, for the reaction so it will become less spontaneous so the percentage of product is considered to be less so uh, but in this case if you see although there was a single bond at this position but this is a ring and in a cyclic ring that's free rotation that which this methylic group was enjoying this this CH2 group on both the sides will not be enjoying because in cyclic ring you have a restricted rotation you don't have a free rotation across this double bond you don't have a rotation across this single bond here and even here even in the enolic form you don't have the rotation across that double bond. So there is not much decrement in entropy. You don't have rotation here, you don't have rotation here. So entropy would be almost same. So there is not much decrement in entropy when you are going from keto form to enolic form. So delta S is less. So delta G the decrement in the delta G will also be less. So there will be no as opposition of conversion as we have in case of acetone. So when you have cyclic compounds the enolic content will be greater. 
maybe two percent maybe three percent not more than that here you have less than one percent but if you have been asked to compare obviously cyclohexanone will have greater enolic content than acetone because decrement in entropy in the enolic and keto form of cyclohexanone is lesser when you have less decrement in entropy the opposition provided for conversion would also be less okay